so let me record guys so any issues any doubts any questions guys in the last class any questions any doubts no doubts are we good guys chalo let's ready guys uh, set direct message to me sir i have some doubts sir yes please Yes, sir. Jim, please. Sir, uh, yesterday you were telling like that uh, wait, wait, minus wait. seven plus wait, uh, wait, seven wait, years. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? How you are talking? I am getting echo sound. Hello. Yeah, yeah, sir. Jim, now it is clear. Yes. Have you joined from two you... devices? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, guys, one minute. Okay, so how many of you joined from two devices, guys? Please raise your hands. If anyone joined from two devices, you have to justify. Okay, so tell me, Sachin, what happened? Why you joined from two devices? Sir, uh, voice is very low, but uh, I can open that laptop also. Okay, so you cannot join two devices at a time, either phone or laptop. Okay. okay, sir. Yeah, so there are some cases in that case I'll accept, but generally people are misusing this. Okay, so you cannot join from two devices, either you have to join from phone. If uh, laptop is not available, you can join from phone, or if laptop is available, you can join from in some situations. Okay, if you are unable to get the voice and all, then I'll accept that to very limited days, not regularly. I, I don't accept joining from two, dev two devices, guys. Okay. Okay, sir. Done, done. Yeah, tell me now. Sir, a cab you can tell like that the capability like compatibility. Seven, yes, yes, compatibility. Uh, compatibility. Mm -hmm. Minus seven plus seven. Mm -hmm. Sir, if recently released in two uh, two thousand twenty two, mm -hmm. this capability also uh, applicable, sir. So ninety percent whatever we discussed yesterday compatibility. Okay. How to verify Windows Server versions? I'll tell you, Raju. Okay, how to verify Windows Server versions? I'll tell you. Right, this compatibility, whatever we discussed yesterday, this will work for 90 percentage. Might be depends upon the versions. Okay, in case if it is limited, what they will do sometimes Microsoft will limit its OS. Okay, that means you cannot rest you cannot install the SQL Server. Uh, in all these operating systems okay in that case if it is limited then it won't work but 90 percent is what we discussed that minus 7 to plus 7 will work okay yeah for example sql server 2019 okay actual sql server 2019 you should able to install it in windows server 2012 right as per the minus 7 to plus 7 rule 2012 right Minus 7, 2019 minus 7 means 2012, right? So you should be able to install SQL Server 2019 on Windows Server 2012. But Microsoft is not supporting SQL Server 2019 on Windows Server 2012. There are some limitations are there. Uh, one, two corrections are there. But that's okay. Generally, you can remember this formula and you can apply this formula. No issues at all. Okay? Okay. Yes. Any questions, guys? Any other questions? Right, Raju Reddy asked, right, say, how to find out the version of the Windows Server, okay? So, to find out the version of the Windows Server or Windows Machine, so you can open Run, okay? Just type MS Info 32. You can, you can find out all the information about your Windows Machine, okay? Just MS Info 32. There you can see what is your system model, okay? Uh, what is the bill number? What is the OS you are using? Everything you can see here. OS name is Microsoft Windows 10 Pro. Okay, mine is 10 Pro. In the same way, if you open for server, you can see 2012, 2016. Okay, so like that you can see. And how much? What is this machine? Okay, 
so uh, guys i have to tell you one thing i of course i'll explain today's class okay so by using this system information or else if you don't remember this shortcut just hit windows button type system information just simply type system if you don't remember that uh, shortcut ms info 32 just simply type system information then also you will get it okay so this is how you have to manage the things okay just a minute <clears throat> right okay so well, so how can we sure that a sql server can be installed on a specific windows server uh, in that case uh, <clears throat> sudindra in that case what you can do okay uh, you are you can be sure at least three to four days that's for sure okay at least three to four days you can install three i mean like three to four not three to four days up to five years you can install definitely I just said minus 7 to plus 7, right? In case if any corrections are there, okay? If you want to sure, minus 5 to plus 7, you can apply. That's for sure. Okay, whatever Windows operating systems are range in this Windows operating system, sure you can install the SQL Server. Okay? Right? Fine? Yes. Any other questions, guys? Did I give any assignment yesterday? Any assignment, guys? Did I give any assignment yesterday? No, yes, maybe. Which assignment, Pradeep? Guess you can unmute and you can talk bill number sir bill number right okay so chalo let's let's go with the bill numbers guys and please ready with the answers set a direct message to me not to everyone okay chalo ready let's let's quickly ask you two three questions okay then we'll jump into the discussion right so what is the bill number for sql server 2016 I only got answers from 24 people guys what about remaining what about others almost five people has to respond this is very easy guys you have to respond Right, okay. So let me check. Okay, 13 uh, Ravi Kiran 11.0. Is it okay, guys? Um, okay, done. Uh, Netra 13, 13, 13. Guys, the answer is 13. Those who said 13, that's fine. Saket said 14. Jayesh 13, 13. Sequel said 2016 is 13.0. Okay, Satish, 13, 13, 13, 130. Okay, Suresh, Saket, Suresh. Remember these words, guys. Saket and Suresh, okay. 
13, 13, 14, 14, 13, 13, Ravikiran, Saket Suresh Ravikiran, okay, oh Sudindra, okay, what is this 13.0.1601.5, okay, that is completely sequence of 2016 RTM bill number, okay, we can't remember that much number, okay, so no need to type complete number, that's fine, okay, just major version dot minor version, okay, so Saket Suresh and Ravikiran, right, okay done 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 uh, ravikiran so saket suresh ravikiran what you can do for me okay so tomorrow take one white paper okay whatever versions are there with the bill numbers we have versions with bill numbers are there right just a minute let me open the document sql dba classes okay <clears throat> right saket suresh and rv kiran okay these three people what you have to do guys you said 14.0 someone said 14.0 someone said 11.0 so you three people has to write this whatever versions we have okay five times you have to write on a white paper all the versions from 2000 to 2019 Five times you have to write the versions on the white paper and you have to, okay, uh, take a snap and you have to send it to my WhatsApp. Okay, guys, fine. Saket, Suresh and Ravikiran, is that fine for you? Okay, sir. Done. Right. So, tell me, guys, ready with your answers, okay? So, can you tell me what is the complete bill number? I'm not asking bill number, like major version, minor version, will have four parts, right? So, I need the complete bill number. The format of the bill number, guys. What is the complete format of the bill number? I hope you got the question, right? Complete format of the bill number. I'm not asking any bill number. I'm asking just what is the format, how many parts it will contain and what we call each part. No, 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 Harminder. First part we'll call major version, dot minor version. Like that we'll call four parts, right? So I need that answer, complete answer. Contains four parts, that's okay. Okay, someone already answered. And for the first question, who are the winners, guys? For the first question, Netra, Harminder and Anil Kumar. Chalo, let me write down. Netra, Harminder and anil anil okay done let's see this time Okay, so I hope you all have my number, right? My WhatsApp number. Okay, let me do one thing. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, that's it. I got only nine responses, guys. What happened? I got only nine responses.
ओके राइट ओके गॉट ओनली टेन रेस्पॉन्सेस लेट मी चेक राइट सो जय शेड मेजर वर्षन डॉट माइनर वर्षन डॉट एक्चुअल बिल नंबर डॉट रिविजन हिस्ट्री करेक्ट जयेश अनिल मेजर वर्षन माइनर वर्षन एक्चुअल बिल नंबर रिविजन हिस्ट्री करेक्ट अनिल गगन हाउ टू स्पेल दिस नेम इज इट गगन आर गगनन गजानन सॉरी आई एम सो सॉरी आई एम सो सॉरी इट्स गजानन राइट ओके गजानन ओके या या थैंक यू मेजर वर्षन में एक्चुअल बिल नंबर ओके फोर पार्ट्स मेजर वर्षन में एंड वर्षन 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 ओके अनिल अनिल ओके मोनिका मेजर माइनर एक्चुअल बिल नंबर हिस्ट्री मोनिका सिंपली सेड मेजर माइनर सर रिमेनिंग थिंग्स यू हैव टू फिल इट ओके राजू रेड्डी सर्वर वर्षन नंबर बिल नंबर होस्ट नेम राजू रेड्डी इट्स रॉन्ग मेजर वर्षन माइनर वर्षन वेंकट शिवा दैट्स ओके ओके रिविजन हिस्ट्री या सो हु आंसर्ड गाइस जयेश अनिल एंड गजानन ओके जयेश अनिल एंड गजानन जयेश अनिल एंड गजानन ओके फाइन गाइस ओके सो व्हाट एल्स वी डिस्कस्ड टेस्टडे गाइस व्हाट एल्स वी डिस्कस्ड टेस्टडे वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सीक्वल सर्वर वर्शंस विंडो सर्वर वर्शंस सीटीपी आरसी आरटीएम राइट सीटीपी आरसी आरटीएम फाइन एंड वी आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस बिल नंबर फॉर्मेट व्हाट एल्स वी डिस्कस्ड टेस्टडे अदर देन दिस दिस टॉपिक्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सपोर्ट ओके ओके दैट्स फाइन ओके गाइस चलो लेट्स जंप इनटू द डिस्कशन राइट एंड बिफोर जंपिंग इनटू द डिस्कशन यस्टरडे सम पीपल ऑलरेडी फिल दिस फॉर्म ओके सो आई गॉट देयर कांटेक्ट्स लेट मी सेंड यू दिस फॉर्म अगेन गाइस दोज हु हैवेंट फिल्ड यस्टरडे प्लीज फिल दिस फॉर्म गाइस इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके आई हैव टू कांटेक्ट यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस ईमेल आईडीज एंड फोन नंबर्स ओके आई हैव टू सेंड सॉफ्टवेयर्स एंड ऑल राइट so please mention your email id in that form please mention your contact number and your name where are you from okay so please fill it guys as early as possible it's very important and today is the fourth class means last class of the demo those who joined on 21st for them today is the last class those who joined 22nd 23rd okay you can extend for one more or two more days but those who joined on 21st those who are there with me from 21st this is the last demo class okay so you have to contact me by end of the today to continue tomorrow and this meeting link is going to be changed guys after once the students are finalized i am going to change this meeting link okay so those who are interested you have to contact me okay by end of today if those who joined on 22nd 23rd if you are satisfied if you want to continue you can also co contact me i am not saying you have to wait for 2 3 days okay if you are interested you, you want to continue just please contact me and of course okay we, we are going to start the um, payment process and all guys okay chalo let's continue so in the last class we discussed about the versions and we discussed about the bill numbers and we discussed about the okay uh windows server versions and we discussed about this uh, uh, ctp rc rtm so ctp means it's a first test copy from the microsoft it will be released to the community people so community people can download it can work with it if any challenges any reviews any bugs are there they can report to microsoft microsoft will fix the issues and it will refine the first test copy it is it is going to fix all the bugs that that are found in the first test copy and it will release second test copy that is called rc release it candidate this also can be accessed by community people in case whatever mistakes are there whatever bugs are there whatever errors are there that are all fixed in the ctp version okay in case if any bugs are there 
uh, minute bugs and all there so that also will be fixed in the rc okay then finally rc is the second test copy if they found there are no issues no bugs it's perfectly fine then they will release the licensed version for that copy guys licensed version that is called rtm release it to market guys okay so that is called rtm which is a release to market okay so you have to this is a licensed version guys this is a paid version you have to pay the amount for this uh, i hope you know right what is the cost will be sql server okay so sql server costings are different guys the costing uh, uh, what we can say uh, plans pricing plans are very different uh, they, sometimes they are going to take on the basis of core core based licensing means they don't they don't charge as per the sql server okay they will charge as per the number of cpu cores if you are having two cores they will charge as per your cpu cores on how many cores you are using okay so if possible i am giving you one assignment guys tomorrow let me know what is the pricing for sql server pricing model what is the pricing model for sql server okay so cost based uh, pricing is there so different different models are there in pricing customers can choose what pricing they need depends upon their requirement and also if possible google it and again guys from day one onwards you should improve your searching techniques and again and again i am saying software engineers means they are not like a uh, intelligent thing intelligent uh, uh, guys okay they know how to use the google properly that's it so by the end of this course you should have knowledge technical knowledge you should be good in the sql server parallelly you should be good in searching also it's very important guys if no one knows everything right you know right no one knows everything we have to depends on google but at least in the google how to search you should know right so it's very important try to improve your searching skills guys so google you know how it will behave it depends upon completely depends upon the okay keywords that you are giving if you are giving proper keywords you will get a proper result immediately if you are giving wrong keywords you don't get your uh, expected results guys so again and again i'm saying try to improve your searching skills from day one onwards if you want to be a professional a four years guy a five years guy try to improve your searching skills guys try to improve your searching skills you should know how to okay search in google also you should know that is also very important okay guys done so core based licensing is there like that we have different models in the licensing if possible just check it for tomorrow what are the licensing okay uh, pricing models are there for sql server right next we discuss uh, a bill number format okay so bill number format is like major version minor version okay actual bill number dot revision history so major version minor version won't change guys i mean like um, major version minor version uh, usually uh, for sequ you can see here these numbers these are the major and minor version first part is major version second part is minor version okay so major version minor version you can see for every sql server version on in the brackets you can see major version dot minor version actual bill number and revision history okay so actually these two parts won't change when you apply any updates on the sql server guys okay there are a lot of updates will be there some of them are service packs some of them are cumulative updates and update guys simply if you install phone pay app or google pay app or amazon or flipkart sometimes it will ask you to update the app right for the same for every for every software guys not only sql server every software updates will be there even though the operating system you are using okay it was updated to 8 8.1 10 11 right in the same way the what we can call it is that uh, android it was updated to 8 9 android what are the versions are there right guys till now android marshmill marshmallow android kitkat android oreo android like different different versions are there right agree so for every software for every software operating system is also package software package only for every software we will have versions guys for the same sql server also we have different different uh, updates okay so when you apply any updates like we have different updates like service packs we have cumulative updates we have hot fixes we have okay if you apply any updates 
this actual bill number and revision history is going to be changed guys this actual bill number and revision history is going to be changed i'll just show you an example okay so that you will get an idea so uh, what's the website yesterday we used guys to check the support and all which website we used anyone remember sql server build a blog sql server dot builds blogspot dot com okay yeah, just simply uh, type sql server builds okay if you don't remember the first one this is the third party website guys it's an excellent website it will route you to the uh, directly to the microsoft guys okay see here imagine for sql server 2016 the actual bill number is this one rtm bill number this is your rtm bill number 13.0.1601.5 there are different types of updates i told you right service pack is one update okay sp1 like that different service packs are there sp2 sp3 sp4 up to max four service packs will be there guys okay in the patching concept we'll discuss about the service packs and all yes arminder okay so when you apply on rtm when you apply service pack 1 your major version minor version don't change guys 13.0 13.0 your third part which is actual bill number and revision history are going to change guys if you can see here 1601 is changed to 4001 5 is changed to 0 again if you apply sp2 on the same sql server patching patching i'll i'll explain guys how to do the patching and all then same 13.0 13.0 is common your third number will be changed to 5026 and fourth number will be changed to 0 if you apply sp3 third number will be changed to 6300 and fourth number will be changed to 2 so the numbers if you observe it it, it will keep increasing guys 4000 5000 6000 it will keep increasing here also 4000 5000 6000 this is for 2014 here there are four service packs 3000 5000 6000 7000 like that the numbers keep on increasing guys. means the third number and fourth number will help you whether your sql server is patched or not okay guys actual bill number and revision history both are going to help you whether your sql server is patched or not if it was not patched you can see these numbers okay like 1306 1601 2000 2100 1600 1600.2 double two if it was if it was not patched you can see these numbers if you see any numbers other than these numbers that means those sql server versions are patched with any update okay so your third part and fourth part will help you to find out whether your sql server is patched or not okay guys clear any issues any doubts in the bill number Is it clear, Excuse guys? me, sir. Yes, yes, please. Sir Harminda here. Tell me, uh, sir. Uh, can you just tell me brief a uh, bit about patching? What is patching? Patching. I forget about patching. Okay. There is a separate class on patching, guys. It's very important how to learn the course. Okay. So it's it's very important, guys. I am simply I am, some of the topics I'll skip, guys. Why? Because Harminda, you are in a position to understand what is patching. But what about others? 28 participants are there if i jump into the patching now most of, just, just most brief, of the, that's what uh, i'm saying brief line. means one line means applying the updates is called patching okay. if, if you ask me one line applying the updates is called patching that I, of course i am saying that updating me applying the updating updates is called patching that already i said but again we don't jump into the topic how you are learning the course is very important guys if you are not learning in a proper way you don't get a solid knowledge there is some incomplete fields will be there that you cannot fill the gaps okay so we'll we'll go as per the plan so first we'll go for installations guys how to install sql server before installing sql server we'll go for some real-time setup how in the organization how the servers will be how we are going to connect to the servers how who is who is going to create the servers okay so we'll go for a flow it's it's a it's a flow guys 
okay so we'll we'll build the windows servers then we'll build the sql servers then then we'll go for a patching of the sql servers once we install the sql servers then we'll go for a security concept how to give permissions on a server on a database on a table okay then we'll go for security then we'll go for backups how to take the backups then we'll go for restores okay how to restore a database then we'll go for automation guys how to automate the things how to automatically take the backups how to automatically restore the databases then we'll automate the things then we'll jump into the hadr concepts log shipping mirroring replication windows clustering sql clustering always on then finally performance tuning this is the flow guys it will go like that only okay so if you ask me some of the things that i'll simply tell you there is a separate class on that so almost two days we'll spend on patching guys everything i'll explain about patching so nothing to worry patching means in one word patching means applying the updates is called a patching you are also doing patching regularly in your phone okay guys please reconnect with the same link guys it is going to disconnect now showing one minute okay so okay please reconnect with the same meeting link and try to join immediately